Authentic leaders are awake and conscious of their talents and strengths. I remember my very first wake-up call, significant wake-up call. I'm sitting in my mother's kitchen. It's an Italian mother's kitchen. And my mother is doing what every Italian mother does when they're not yelling. She's cooking. On the stove, the Harvest Gold stove, there's a 465-gallon vat of spaghetti sauce. One of my Uncle Tony's was coming over for dinner, and she didn't want to run out of food. <laughs> to the left of the stove, there's this little pantry, this little galley. And she's on the counter, and she is unrolling and rolling out a pizza crust. She is not saying a word, but the message was so clear. Because I'm sitting at the table. In front of me on the kitchen table is my report card. I just completed my freshman year at the Ohio State University. <laughs> OH. <laughs> and there in front of me, in big black letters, GPA 1.3. <laughs> Never said I was the smartest guy in the room. See, my mom knew that I wasn't going to class. She knew I wasn't studying. In fact, what I was doing, I was hanging out with my friends. I was getting drunk, and I was getting high. I was a pothead. And I was lost. I was so lost. My mother's rolling out the pizza crust. She puts the rolling pin down. She looks at me, and she says, you know, Joey, I'm angry and I'm sad, and let me tell you why. I'm angry because you have a brother who is developmentally challenged and wishes he could do half the things that you can do, and he can't. And I'm sad because you have all the God-given talent in the world and you are wasting your life. And then she leans forward and she says, when are you going to wake up. When your mother is in your face and she's Italian and she's five foot ten and wears a size ten shoe, you wake up. 